Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to film a get ready with me video because it's been a little bit since I've filmed one of these and last week in my July Beauty Empties and in my July Beauty Favorites that makeup look that I was wearing. I had one of you guys leave me a comment and asked if I would do a get ready with me and several of you guys like a get ready with me showing you guys that makeup look and several of you guys gave that comment a thumbs up. So I wanted to do that video for you guys today and also this is just my everyday makeup look that I have been wearing to work or just wherever. I love this makeup so much. Like this is my signature look. Like I just love this makeup so much. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair back first to get it out of the way. And I have, I still like my hair short, but I have grown it out just like slightly a little longer. And I think I'm really in love with this length because I felt like the length it was before where it was really, really short, it was kind of in that length where it was wanting to flip out. So it's like either I needed to go even shorter or do it this length, which I don't know, I may go back shorter, but I've really been enjoying it like this. So I canceled my hair appointment yesterday to go get it trimmed just because I've been enjoying this length. I used this moisturizer whenever I got out of the shower today and this is the Fab First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration and it's safe for sensitive skin. I got this like in a deluxe gift set from Sephora. I made a Sephora purchase a couple of weeks ago and I'm gonna be doing a haul video on the stuff that I picked up probably next week. Um, that along with some drugstore stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Hello Fab, the First Aid Beauty, and this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, safe for sensitive skin. And this also came in that deluxe gift set. And this is just a primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with this before I apply my foundation. This is a really nice primer. It's moisturizing and it kind of fills in your pores a little bit too. The foundation and concealer that I was wearing in those videos and that I have been wearing a lot recently is this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and this is in shade 20, Classic Ivory. I know that they're kind of lighter shades in this foundation. It's kind of weird because they have porcelain, which is a lot lighter than this one, which is the next step up, Classic Ivory 20. So this is like my summertime foundation when I have a little bit of a tan or use self tanners. I can't use this shade in the winter. So like, as you can see, I've used a lot of this, but I only use this in the summer. So maybe I'll use this up before the summer's over with and it'll be in an empties video. And then I'm just gonna be using my Dampen Real Technique sponge to blend this foundation out. And I just use patting motions to blend this foundation in. And I love this foundation because it is long wearing, but at the same time, it just gives your skin a nice, like, luminous finish. And I always feel like my skin tends to look better whenever I use this foundation on a regular basis. Like, I don't get a ton of breakouts whenever I use this, but I mean, in general, I don't get a lot of breakouts, but I feel like if I do use this foundation a lot, like, my redness kind of goes down on my face. And I know that this foundation is supposed to have good ingredients in it for your skin. Um, so, and I do feel like it makes my skin a little healthier um, whenever I use this foundation, but I just love the finish of it. I think it's really beautiful. Like, it does have that luminous kind of finish to it, but it's not so luminous that it makes your skin look greasy or anything like that. It just looks really nice and natural on, you, on the skin. Like I said, I would probably use this foundation more if like their shades were just better like the lighter shades like I need a step down for that from that one in the winter um but it's just like that porcelain shade it looks so I don't know it looks so much lighter than this one maybe I should pick that one up and give it a try maybe it would actually work in the winter you guys will have to let me know if you use that shade in porcelain and if you're more of my skin tone in the winter like if it works for you or not because I don't know. And right now, like my self tan is kind of worn off and I haven't like reapplied it in my Jergens Daily Glow. I usually go in my phases where I'll use it like three or four days in a row and then I give my skin a break for like three or four days. Um, so I think it's basically all worn off now. So my tan is just from the sun, um, you know, like going to the pool and stuff like that. 
So this foundation is a little dark right now, but it works okay once I have the bronzer on. And then I just go back and add a little bit more of this in areas where I want a little bit more coverage. And this foundation is a really great buildable foundation as well. And it's just super easy to blend out and I don't know, it just looks really good. I did a review, like a week review on this foundation and concealer like a couple years ago. So if you want to know more of my thoughts on this foundation, I'll link that video down below and you can watch it if you haven't seen that video before. And then I'm just going in with the concealer and I'm going to put that here on my under eyes. Just kind of in like a triangle shape just to highlight. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of it here down the center of my nose just to highlight and to give a little bit more coverage there. And then I'm just going with the opposite end of my Real Technique sponge to blend this concealer in. And I'm just using patting motions to blend that in. And then I do kind of take a little bit of that concealer up here on my eyelids, not too much, just a little bit to kind of even out my skin there. And then I'm just blending that out here on my nose. And then I'm just kind of taking the leftovers and just kind of putting it like right in this area to kind of lighten that area of my face up a little bit. I'm not really setting the under eye area. I'm just trying to put a little bit of lighter powder right in this area just to kind of lighten it up. I haven't been setting my under eyes for a little while now just because I find that if I get powder too close like up in here, it really just makes my fine lines kind of stand out throughout the day and it's really weird because that used to not happen to me but I feel like recently that's been happening a lot so I don't know if that area is just a little bit more dry and that's why it's kind of standing out but I just find that it's better if I don't set real close like underneath my eyes there so what I've been doing just to kind of brighten this area up a little bit more I've just been going in with my elf or contour palette and getting these two highlight shades, just kind of mixing them together, tapping off the excess. And then I've just been patting just like right here, kind of in that area where your under eye area meets with your cheek, like where it's like a, that little dip and just kind of patting it like right in that area, just because I find it kind of lightens and brightens that area up a little more. I don't know if you can tell anything on camera but in person I can tell a difference whenever I use that there it just kind of hides that little dip and just kind of brightens that area up and then I do like to take a little bit more of like that highlight shade and just kind of run it like right down here down the center of my nose just to kind of highlight right there Okay, next to set my foundation, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Matte Super Blendable Powder in the shade Soft Ivory and my e.l.f. Powder Brush. And I'm just going to pat that all over the foundation to set it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. And I have been using this new Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have been in love with this bronzer. It's so good. Like, it's so creamy. It's almost like a cream to powder. I mean, it's not exactly a cream, but I don't know. It has, like, a really silky, like, feel to it, and it smells so good. Like, it smells tropical. I don't know. I always enjoy when I put this on and I get, like, that little scent of it. Um, and the packaging is so cute and tropical. I love anything tropical or beachy, anything that smells tropical. You guys know I love that. Um, so first I go in with my little mini NARS Eda brush and I get a little bit of this bronzer on there, knock off the excess, and then I just go in and just lightly kind of contour right in here. So like as you can see that bronzer isn't like super intense. It's a little bit on the lighter side. And and this is in the shade just bronzer. I know that they have one that's like light bronzer, but this is the bronzer. It's the darker shade, which it's still not like super dark or anything like that. But like I said, I just first kind of go in and sort of contour just a little bit, just to get a little bit of that shape down. 
And then I like to go in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques, get more of this bronzer on this brush, knock off the excess, and then I just like to go in and kind of buff right in there just to kind of blend everything out and just to bronze. This little brush is just like my favorite brush for bronzing like right here in your like cheekbone area. It just works so good. It's like the perfect size. I just love all of my Real Technique brushes. You guys know how much I love them, especially the face ones. They're just my favorite. I love all the face brushes just as much as my Sigma, Sigma brushes, if not better. I mean, these are just like the face brushes I use all the time. I just love them. And then I just kind of take it up here sort of on my temples like that. And then I go in with the powder brush, get more of this bronzer on there, and then I like to go up here around the hairline. I just find with this being a little larger, it works better on my forehead since my forehead's a little larger. Um, this can be a little too precise and it can look a little weird, so it's better if you go in with the larger brush because it, because it kind of diffuses it. But I guess if you had a really small forehead, you could maybe just use the small one or you might just want to skip that step just because putting bronzer up here on your forehead tends to just make your forehead look a little smaller. And also too, like when you're out in the sun, like naturally your forehead gets a little darker right here just because the sun, you know, is kind of shining down your head. So that's why I like to put bronzer right there. Um, and then I like to take some down here sort of on my jawline just to put a little bit of a shadow and then I also like to put some on my neck just because I find that my neck is a little lighter than like my chest and my face so just to kind of bring everything together and then for my blush in that video I was wearing the Jaffra Jaffra I never know how to pronounce this I was using their cream their long wear cream blush in cashmere peony and I have been in love with this blush. It's like my new favorite blush. I love these cream blushes from Joffre. They gave me this one and the other one which was in Cashmere Mauve. I love both of them. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot more use out of Cashmere Mauve in the fall just because it's a little darker and just kind of has more of like those fall tones in it where this one's more bright and reminds me of summer. I just think it's so pretty. So the way I go about applying this blush, since it is a cream blush, I like to go in with like a synthetic brush and this is just an, an angled synthetic brush from Walmart. And I don't know if they still sell the specific brush there, but I'm sure they have something similar to that. And this is just one of my all-time favorite blush brushes and it was super cheap and affordable. So um, what I do is I just kind of like dab it in there and then on the back of my hand, I'll just kind of dab the excess. Just because if you don't do that step, sometimes I can just put down too much blush. And then I just kind of, kind of dab it kind of not really like swipe swipe but sort of swipe and dab a little bit just to get that color on my cheeks and as you can see it's just the beautiful it's just such a beautiful pink it's so pretty and I feel like with this shirt it almost looks a little orange so depending on what you're wearing it kind of just goes with it it's just a, a good blush it's just so pretty um so yeah, and I find that it's super long wearing. And then after I get my blush on, then I like to go in with my highlight and I've been using two different highlights. I think in those videos I was wearing my um, Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, I was using the highlight shade as my highlight in that video. But I've also really been enjoying my Laura Mercier um, Matte Highlight in Zero One as a highlight. Actually, these two highlights look really similar. It's just that this um, Laura Mercier is a little bit, it's, a, it's more buildable than this. This is a lot more intense. You can make this one intense, this one over here, but it's buildable. So if you maybe are a little bit, like if you have more mature skin or if you're afraid that using a really intense highlight is gonna make your wrinkles or just pores stand out, I would recommend this one instead of this highlight but you know if you like a super intense highlight go with this one 
So what I do is I just go in with my Real Techniques contour brush. I've been loving this brush for highlighting and it fits really nice in this eyeshadow too because it's small. So I just dip it here in the eyeshadow and just like the blush, I just kind of wipe off the excess so it doesn't fit too much down at once. And then just in like little circular motions, I just go like this up to my temples, kind of where my brows are, and then just come back down. So I don't know if you can see how intense that is as, an, as a highlight, but it is so pretty. And I just love this shade because it's more like on the white kind of cream side of champagne. Like it's not gold and it's not pink. It's more of just like a cream color. And that's why I love this highlight shade because it doesn't pull too pink and it doesn't pull too gold. It's just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I love using this as a eyeshadow and also as a highlight. It's just beautiful as a highlight. Really intense, super pretty. And like I said, I just kind of use little swirling motions to buff that in. And then I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and just kind of blend that in with like the blush and the bronzer. Just lightly kind of dab it. Oh, and I also forgot, I like to take a little bit of this highlight here on the tip of my nose, just kind of whatever's left on the brush. And then I also put a little bit of it here on my Cupid's bow to highlight there, which some of that will come off whenever I do, you know, my lips and everything. Okay, now I like to go ahead and move on with my brows. And for my brows, I've been using these two products. I have been loving these products so, so much. I mentioned these in my July Beauty Favorites, but this is the new L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Triangular Tip Mechanical Pencil. And this is in the shade Blonde. So I just go in with the brush side and just brush my brows up. I already need to pluck my brows again. It's like insane how fast they grow but I didn't really pluck them today, so if you see little brow hairs, I'm sorry, but I was just lazy. <laughs> and then I showed you guys in my favorites what this looks like, but it's kind of like a triangle sort of shape there. The only thing about this is you have to either cut a little bit of it off or just kind of go back and forth on your hand to get it to have a blunt edge like this because it's like once you use it a few times or really once you use it just once, it really dulls down the shape of this pencil. So that's the only downfall to this, but I do really love this thing for brows just because it is fatter and it's a lot faster to do your brows with this than like with the micro brow pencils. Um, so yeah, but I've really been loving this thing. I think it's just really awesome. So I'm just gonna shape my brows out with this. And then I just go back through with the little spooly side and just brush through my brows. I think it got a little too insane with my highlight on the side. It looks like it went way up here. <laughs> okay, and then, let me get this back on. And then to set my brows in place, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Brow Plumper. And this is in the shade Light to Medium. And I like to go in with like a tissue. I just have like a tissue in this little container, glass container and just kind of like dab it off just because if you don't it gets kind of product built up on the end and it can get into your brows and just like mess them up so and then i just kind of run this through my brows i don't know if you can hear the cicadas this morning but they are so loud it's a nice touch to the videos one of you guys said that <laughs> you commented and said that you liked the cicadas singing in the background <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this here on the lid and take it all the way up to the brow bone. Which, you could totally skip this eyeshadow primer if you, you know, were running late on like if you were crunched on time, 
but I just like to use this because it helps my eyeshadows to like not crease and to last all day. I'm not going to zoom in for the eyeshadow portion. I know I normally do that, but this is just a super simple eyeshadow look and there's not really too much going on. So for, I have a hair. So for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with this Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit in the highlight shade. Like I was telling you guys, this is probably my all-time favorite highlight shade. It's just beautiful. It's so pigmented, and it's just the perfect highlight. And I'm just using the little sponge that came in this little kit. I get so much use out of this thing. I know I haven't really been using it for my brows lately, but sometimes I do like to use it for my brows, and it's great for eyeshadows. I mean, you guys have heard me talk about this little thing before, but if you do not own it, you need to pick it up. I know that they make it in two different shades. This is in um, Zero One Light. So, so I don't know if my camera filmed that part or not, but because uh, it like clicked off, and so I went to hit record again, but then it acted like it didn't record. It just like shut off. So I'm sorry if you missed that part. What I did was I used my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I got it here on this e.l.f. crease, or the, my Wet n Wild crease brush, or blending brush. And I just blended it here in the crease of my eyes. Just like this. And I was saying that you just wanted to use a little bit of this bronzer. It didn't have to be perfect. Just to give your crease a little bit of dimension and to warm them up a little bit. So I'm sorry if that part got cut off. And then the last step to the eye look is I just go back in with that highlight shade again in the brow, the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit and use the same little sponge. And then I just put the shade here in the corner of my eye just to highlight and to just brighten my eyes up. For my mascara, I have been using and loving so much this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This thing is so good. If you have not picked it up, you need to pick it up. This is my new Holy Grail mascara. I like this mascara even better than my CoverGirl The Super Sizer, the Maybelline The Rocket, my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. Like, this has replaced all those. I mean, I still have those mascaras to use up, but this is my Holy Grail one. I mean, I'll probably still purchase those mascaras in the future just because, you know, it's good to switch your mascara is up sometimes because you know sometimes you get bored with mascaras even though if they are like your holy grail favorites um but yeah this thing is just awesome i love it so much so that's what i'm going to use for my mascara today i'm just going to apply several coats of this to my upper lashes and then i'll come back okay now that my mascara has dried i'm going to go in with my heated up eyelash curler to give my lashes like an extra boost. I've showed you guys this little eyelash trick so many times, but I've just keep my eyelash curler up. And then just test it. Okay, then I just clamp it down on my eyelashes. I mean, the trick to this is just to make sure that your eyelashes are completely dry. I've never had any issues with my eyelashes getting pulled out or fall or like fall out or anything like that. I know Sometimes people freak out, <laughs> but they won't. I do this all the time. My eyelashes are fine. And then whenever you take it off, like your eyelashes are just really curled up. I don't know if you can really even tell a difference, but it makes the hugest difference and your eyelashes will stay curled all day long. And then I don't think in that video I had any mascara on my lower lashes. Most of the time, day to day recently, I haven't been wearing mascara on my lower lashes and then the last step to this look is the lips and I'm going to show you guys like my favorite lip combo which was the lip the lip combo that I was wearing in those two videos first I use the lip liner in Lancome Ideal so I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with that first And then I just kind of smushed my lips together to kind of blend that out. And then over top of that, I like to go in with this Burt's Bees um, Lip Shimmer. And this is in the color Caramel. I just love this product so much. I know I've been raving about it a lot recently, but 
It's so good and so pretty. And then that is what this everyday makeup look or matte everyday like signature makeup look has been recently and I just absolutely love it. If you guys love my get ready with me videos, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep making these videos for you guys. I know that several of you guys just always comment on these videos and tell me how much you love them. So, and I love filming these for you guys. So yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it or enjoy these. And also, if you are not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all my videos. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little notification bell down below so it will notify you as soon as I post a new video. I know I don't really have a set schedule anymore, so it'll just let you know as soon as I post a video so you don't miss anything. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, I was planning on filming that uh, dramatic wedding makeup tutorial that I told you guys about a little ways back. And I just haven't felt in the mood to film that. Like, I haven't been in the mood to wear, like, a lot of dark makeup. So, I will be filming that tutorial for you guys here in the next few weeks or so. Because I know I promised several of you guys that I was going to film that video. So, I'm still going to film it. I'm just sorry that it's taken me forever to do it. I just haven't felt motivated to film that video. Um, and I know that there's some other tutorials I told you guys that I was going to film. I want to film another makeup tutorial using um, that, well it's down in here so I'm not going to get it, but the Maybelline The City Mini Palette, the one in rooftop bronzes. I wanted to film another tutorial with the gold shades because I know several of you guys said you wanted to see that. And I know that some of you guys also want to see like um, kind of a get ready with me sharing with you guys that PR makeup that I I got like show you guys like what it looks like on and what I think about all the products but for sure one of my favorite things that I got in those PR packages was the Joffre cream long wearing cream blushes these things are awesome and amazing my favorite one like I said is in this cashmere peony it's just such a pretty everyday pink color I think that was all I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I will see you all in my next video. And I hope that you all have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.